Hey guys, today I have a lug video for you. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare the jive to the slider to the pacer. So I just want to show you today all of the different features of each of these bags. Also give you a comparison of all three. And then I have the jive completely packed up because I wanted to just transfer everything from it into the slider and then everything from the slider to the pacer just to see the capacity of all three of these bags. And I usually like to start with the one that I think is the biggest and will hold the most. And to me, even though looking right now, it looks like the slider may be bigger than the job. I still think that the job may fit more than the slider does. And I think that the pacer will fit the least, but we will see together what fits the most. And so I'm just gonna show you all of the compartments and show you how everything is going to compare as far as capacity. I will also show you how they wear on the body as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with this comparison. So all three of these bags are in the vegan leather and the Jive is in the black with that really pretty fern lining. I'll show you that in just a minute. The slider is in the sand with the really pretty tropical fog lining and the pacer is in that classic navy with the leopard lining. So we will just go ahead and go through all these compartments and let me go ahead and start with the Jive. So the Jive can be worn three different ways or carried three different ways. So you have this really nice tote handle straps and I love to carry this just by these handles and a lot of times I will put it in the crook of my arm. So that's one way that you can carry it is by these handles. And then also it has one strap that comes with it, which is a one and a half inch strap. You can adjust it to where it can be used as a shoulder bag this way or as a crossbody bag. So this one comes with the black one and a half inch nylon strap. So it's not a vegan leather strap and it doesn't come with a printed strap like some of these vegan leather ones do. So the slider comes with two different straps. It comes with this shorter strap in the vegan leather material that's the same color of the bag. And let me go ahead and get it off to get it out of the way. And I really like that it comes with the smaller strap because I really like to wear this one. I really like to wear the slider as a shoulder bag and I like to use this strap with it. It also comes with the one and a half inch fabric strap that is in the same color lining as the inside. So it will come with the solid vegan leather smaller strap and then it also comes with the longer adjustable strap that is in the lining that's on the inside. So for the sand color, the tropical fog is the lining that's on the inside. So that is the strap that it comes with. So this is the really nice wider strap adjustable for crossbody or shoulder. And then the pacer comes with two straps as well. So it does come with that shorter vegan leather strap as well and the same in the same color as the bag. And then it also comes with that longer printed strap that's the same lining as the inside. And for this navy, it's that leopard print. So you have this strap, it's the one and a half inch strap, nylon material, and it is adjusted to either shoulder bag or as a crossbody. So with the pacer and with the slider, you have two straps that come with it. With the jive, you only have the one strap that comes with it. So let's go ahead and go on with the quilting patterns of this one. So the jive has that bubble quilted pattern all the way around. So it goes to the side, the back, the front, and the bottom. And the slider has that like arrow print that's on the bottom. And this is a smooth finish. The back is also a smooth finish as is the bottom. And as you can see, when I showed you the bottom of the job, it does have metal feet on the bottom of it. The slider does not have any kind of feet on the bottom. The pacer has this really nice studded detail on the front of it. It's that pebbled leather look, but of course it is faux leather. Also that smooth material as well. The bottom has no feet and it's also smooth. So you have the quilting pattern all the way around on the jive at the bottom of the slider and the pacer has these really nice studded details in the front. Moving on to the next comparison, the jive has a built-in wallet in the front. The slider has no built-in wallet and the pacer has a built-in wallet in the back. And so that's a little bit different. That is one of the things that I don't like about the pacer is that the built-in wallet's in the back and I find it a little bit harder to get to if you do use the built-in wallet. And then also all three of these bags do have your felt lines pocket, that soft line that's magnetic close for your cell phone. So let's just go ahead and start with that pocket over here in the job. Just have to go vertically in there. And so I will transfer my phone over here 
to the slider and the slider can actually go horizontally in here. So I showed you where all of the cell phone pockets were in each three, in all three of these bags and underneath in the slider, because the slider is empty and the job is not, I'm gonna go down to the next compartment in the slider. So underneath the magnetic closed soft lined area, you do have a horizontal zipper area and it isn't lined in that tropical fog lining. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag and it's all the way the width of the bag as well. So there's no built-in functions or anything in there. It's just a big open pocket. And then it also has another horizontal zipper area underneath that. Again, it's like a stacked pocket on the front. Not much of a gusset in either one of these, but you do have room. You can see how wide I can open up that top pocket. And then the bottom pocket, you can see how wide it opens as well. So there's lots of room to put things in there. It also has the Cursive Lug logo, as does the Pacer and the Jive. All three of these vegan leather bags do have that Cursive Lug logo on the front of them. So looking at the front of all three of these, you can see that the Jive has the cell phone pocket, a horizontal zip pocket underneath that. The slider has the cell phone pocket and two horizontal zip pockets under it. And the Pacer has that cell phone pocket. It also has a horizontal zip pocket right here that you can see it does not open as wide as this slider does. It is more of a tighter fit and it goes down to the bottom of the bag and it has that leopard lining inside it. And then where you have this studded detail, you have a magnetic closed area on here that is also lined as well. No kind of organization in that. So basically you have two different compartments in the front of the slider and the pacer. The job just has that one. So inside that horizontal zip area of the job, I do have a tram wallet. So this is actually where the built-in wallet is on the job. The slider does not have a built-in wallet, so I'm just going to transfer this tram over to that top pocket in the front of the slider. And like I said, the built-in wallet is in the back of the pacer, so when I transfer everything from the slider to the pacer, we'll get into that area right there. So on the jive, you have that really pretty fern lining on the inside of it, and this front pocket is your built-in wallet. So if you can see, if I can turn this around to where you can see this, it does have that long slip area in the top for bills or receipts or anything like that. And it also has six credit card slots in there. So your built-in wallet of the job has the long bill slot area and six credit card slots. And so I transferred my wallet from it into the slider and then showed you the two compartments that were in the front of the pacer. So you saw the front of that had that built-in wallet and let's just go ahead and go to that back. It has another horizontal zipper area in the back. And what I have in it is a notepad which the slider also has that back zipper area in the back of the slider. It also has an area for two pin slots. So the pin slot area in the job is on the inside. And when I get to it, I'll just transfer those back here to the back. So your back has that, you can see that tropical fog lining in the back of this. So it goes all the way down to the bottom and it's all the way the length and the width of the back of this. So it's a really nice roomy pocket. And you can see how much that gives also in the back. So it's not a tight fit when you're trying to put things in the back of this as well. And like I said, it does have a place for two pin holders right here. So I have a notepad in the back of this that I'm just gonna transfer back over here, fits nicely. And that is all that I had in the back of the job. So that fit in here. And then I'll just go ahead and go along to the pacer. So the back of the pacer has your built-in wallet area back here. So you can see it has a clear view pocket area and then three credit card slots in the back. So let's just move into the main compartment of the job. And let me just go ahead and talk my way through the slider since it's empty right now. So as you can see on the front, it did have that bottom zipper pocket that's horizontal and then the one that's right up above it so stacked pockets in the front i have the wallet in that area so i'm just going to go ahead and zip that up has your main compartment in the middle but it also has that pocket in the back that also has a place for two pins so i have just transferred over my notepad to the back of the slider so let's go ahead and go on the inside before i start to pack it full and so you can see that it has two cargo pockets in the back it has have a key bungee i love a key bungee and then on the front of that, it has your clear view pocket area. So it is a zipper area from one side to the other, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. No privacy zipper areas or anything. So on the inside of the slider, you do have those two stretchy cargo pockets in the back. And in the front, you do have your clear view pocket there. So let's just go ahead and transfer some things over. So in the job, I do have a jib and it is packed full of some liquid products because with these vegan leather, I don't know what's gonna happen if any kind of liquid gets on any of these. So I make sure everything is packed either in that clear view pocket or in this does have that plastic lining on the inside in that thin metal gray. 
got that really pretty like palm botanical lining on the inside. So I'm gonna just transport the jive back over here to this slider. And then I also have Clark slops and wet ones in here. And then this is all from just that main area. This is not the cargo pockets or anything that's in here. I'm just getting everything out of that main area. I also have a Coop XL that I put in here. This is one of those limited edition in the vegan leather, the Coop XL. So it is that longer Coop. It's not your regular size and it fits really nicely in there. And I am just going to transfer it over here to the slider as well. So I actually put that on top of the jib in the slider. The jib was on top of the Coop XL in here. And then this has the key bungee. And on the key bungee, I always have my AirPods and also an LED light attached to the key bungees. So I'll just transfer these over. So you can see that key bungee right here in the jive. And the slider also has that key bungee. So I will just put those on there. And all of that is what is in the middle of the slider. So you can see that this Coupe XL is at the top of the slider and the jib is underneath that. So that is all that I had on the main area of the jive and it was packed up to the top. On the back of the jive, you do have two cargo pockets and in one of them, I do have some Eco Shoppers. So I will just transfer that from one cargo pocket to the cargo pocket in the slider. And then I also had some ibuprofen in that little cargo pocket and that transferred over. So that emptied one cargo pocket. Now in the jive behind one of these cargo pockets, you do have a slot for two pins. So I do have two pins in there. And in the slider, those were in that back area. So I will just transfer those over to the back of the slider. Okay. And then in this other cargo pocket, I do have some sunglasses. Now I have ordered the bobsled from QVC and it's not come yet. So I'm still waiting on that because I'm excited to see if my sunglasses will fit in there and how nicely they fit in these cargo pockets because this fits exactly in one of the cargo pockets. So I will just transfer that over to this cargo pocket in the slider. So that empties out these two cargo pockets. So you can see in the back of the job, you have two cargo pockets. You have that key bungee. And then in the front, you have your clear view pocket area. Zips from one side to the other, goes all the way down to the bottom. So in there, I will just transfer everything I have from it to the clear view pocket that is in the front of here. And like I said, I like to put all my liquids and stuff in something that's gonna protect it from the vegan leather. So I do have contact solution here as well. Have it in two places, I'm not sure why. Some lip gloss, some hand sanitizer. I do put the hand sanitizer usually in the cargo pockets of all my other bags because they're so wipeable, but with the vegan leather, I'm just so scared. Hand lotion, contacts, contact case, and some chapstick. And that was all that I had in the Clearview pocket here. So I've emptied out the jive. And like I said, the inside has these two stretchy cargo pockets and that Clearview pocket and a key bungee on the inside. Then the front has your felt lined magnetic closed area for cell phone. It has to go vertically in there. You have your horizontal front that has your built-in wallet, which has that longer bill slot and then six credit card slots. And then in the back, you also had that horizontal zip area that has a really nice roomy area. You can see how much this stretches when you look at the side of that. Oh, and I forgot to say, and then it has the two pin holder slots behind one of these cargo pockets. So that's the jive now completely emptied into the slider. So let's see if I can make this zip. And the phone is in the front of this and it's not gonna fit you guys. Um. So I have a lot of stuff that's in this clear view pocket area right here that I could probably take out and put in the jib, but because that's where it was in the job, I'm just trying to show you the capacity of the two. I think the problem is the Coupe XL. So the Coupe XL fit in the job underneath the jib. It's not going to fit in the slider because you can see the side of this, how well this is packed. So the slider, I would say, and then look, I just want you to look at how this is packed, how the, um, front pocket is poking out. It's not actually closing. And I think that has part to do with how I have that packed in that clear view zipper area that's right behind it. Because I don't have anything in this bottom zipper area, but I do have that tram wallet in here. So if I took that out, it would close. So I think the problem is the tram being in this front pocket causing that to kind of bulk out and not close that way. So the tram wallet will fit in here. But when I do put it in there, well, no, now it's working just fine in here, but let me zip it and see. 
Yeah, so when I zip it and I have the trim in the front, you see how that kind of bulks out and it won't close really good. See how it's kind of not closing down here at the bottom. But then if I took the trim out of that front pocket and put it inside and zipped it because I took the Coupe XL out, let's see how that would work. If you pack this slider full, like I have it, you can see how it's bulking out in the front and everything, then you can't put a full size wallet in the front without this having a problem. But as you can see, I do have it zipped and I have the wallet in the middle part with the jib and all the other stuff that I put in there. And as you can see, it does close pretty good that way. So I was not able to put the wallet in the front without it poking out, but this looks really good. So I've got everything in the slider that was in the job except for the Coupe XL. I could not put the Coupe XL in here without it being really bulky and I was afraid of ripping the zipper if I tried to zip it. So, the Coupe XL, the only thing that does not fit in the slider that does fit in the job. We emptied out the job, told you the different compartments of the slider. Now let's see if all of the things from the slider will fit in the pacer. And I'm looking right now and I just want you to kind of see the comparison of how these look. Looks like the job's a little bit taller than the slider, but this one seems to be the one that looks the most narrow of the three, but fit more than this slider did. But I really like the structure of the slider and the look of it. I like these two different compartments on the front. Of course, you don't have to pack your bag as full as I did. I just wanted to kind of show you from the job packed completely full, if it would all fit in the slider, because that's kind of the way I can tell if this bag is gonna be as big as that one and fit as much. But you know, sometimes some of these smaller bags can fit just as much as the bigger bags, just depending on how much organization that they have in it and how everything is organized in it. So here's the slider and let's see if everything's gonna go in the pacer. So again, I don't have anything in this bottom pocket of the slider. And I did have that wallet in this top part, but because it kind of bulked out this, I did take it out. So let me just go ahead and transfer the cell phone over. So the cell phone went horizontally in the slider and it can go horizontally in the pacer as well. But the pacer, this does come out. So it's sewn down in the slider in the job. It does not come down, but in the pacer, it will come out. So if you do have it packed pretty full, that can, kind of can be a little bit irritating when you're pulling your phone out and that felt lining comes out with it. But there is the phone inside there. And then underneath that, you do have this horizontal zipper area. No organization inside it. It's just a really good area. And you can see how wide that opens on that part. This studded area right here on the front, which is so pretty, it makes this look so classy looking and a little bit dressier. You have a magnetic flap closure, and then you can put some things in here. And then when you go to the back of this one, you have that horizontal zipper. And then in the back of that, you have that clear view pocket and then three credit card slots. So here's your built-in wallet in the back of the pacer. So that's a little bit odd for me that the built-in wallet is in the back. But let's just go ahead and empty out that wallet and just put it in there and see if it'll go in there and fit everything else. So in the back of the slider, I did have that notepad and those two pins. And so let me take those out and I'll just put the notepad in the back of this one where the built-in wallet is, where I have the tram wallets. And then on the inside of the pacer, you do have an area over here by your clear view pocket area for two pins. So I will just transfer those over to those pin holder slots. And I'm gonna be honest with you, they are behind the key bungee and they're kind of awkward to get to because you kind of have to move the key bungee. So if you have things on there, you gotta get that moved before you can get to your pins. So it's not a real convenient place because they're kind of up here in the corner. But here are your two pin slots right here and I just converted those pins over to there. So I've emptied out everything from the back of this slider. So let's just go into the middle part. So on this pacer, you have your zipper area, your magnetic closed felt lined area, and this magnetic closed area in the front. In the back, you have your built-in wallet, horizontal zip, clear view pocket, three credit card slots, and then on the inside, before I get this packed up, I'll show it to you. Now, as you can see, just look how wide this slider opens. And then you can see how wide the job opens when you're trying to find things. This is one of my pet peeves about the pacer. I love the way the pacer looks on the body. It's got that slim look to it, but it doesn't open very wide. So, I mean, it opens a good amount, but not near as wide as these two bags. I mean, like, look at this. You can see everything that's in this bag when you open it up. Just You can just see all your contents that you have. So, this one, even though it has that leopard lining, it is a little bit dark on the inside, so it is kind of hard to see everything. And you can see the bottom profile of both of these. You can see how much more room you have 
to put things in the slider than you do the pacer. The pacer's kind of a little bit thinner bottoms. You have a privacy zipper area in the back, and then underneath your privacy zipper, you do have two cargo pockets. And when you flip it around, like I said, you do have that key bungee on there, and there's two pin holder slots behind where that key bungee is. Then you have your clear view zipper area. It does look smaller than the slider and the jives clear view pocket area, but it does go all the way down to the bottom of the bag as well. So let's just see what we can convert over from the slider. So let me just go ahead and start with the clear view pocket area. I will put everything in it, if I can, from the slider, but the slider does have a longer zipper area. So these things are gonna kind of have to double up on here to fit everything. It does zip, and that was everything from that clear view pocket area of the slider. Now let me just go ahead and, and empty out the cargo pockets as well. So I've got an Eco Shopper that I will put in one of these. It's already getting tight. And the ibuprofen and the sunglasses. All right, so that was everything from the cargo pocket. So I've emptied out the cargo pockets and the clear view pocket from the slider, and look how full it's already looking. Like, as you look here, you can see there's not much room to put things in the middle. So, let me just transfer over those wipes. Take this off the key bungee. Put that in there. It's such a tight fit, you guys. Okay. Now, all that I have left in here is the jib. And then I've emptied out the slider. So... This is not as wide. Let me just show you the difference. It's got that much more room width-wise in the slider than you do in the pacer. So, my sunglass case right here in this cargo pocket is kind of making this jib kind of difficult to get in here. But it will fit if I smoosh it in there. But if you have the jib packed full, it won't fit in there being smooshed either. Okay, so it will not fit over my sunglass case. It fits halfway, but will not fit over my sunglass case. You can see how bulky that is as of right now. So, it looks like, let me zip this up with everything else in here, that everything from the slider will fit in the pacer except for the jib. There is, to me, quite a bit less room in the pacer than in the slider and in the jive. Now, the slider is very comparable in capacity to the jive. The jive was filled to the top and you can see that it was kind of pressed out. So it was filled pretty full and I could fit everything from it into the slider except for that Coupe XL. But then from the slider to the pacer, I could not fit the jib, which I was able to fit in the slider and the jive. And then I couldn't fit the Coupe XL, which I was not able to fit in the slider. So the capacity of the pacer, to me, is quite a bit less than the slider and the jive. These are pretty comparable. If you're not carrying a Coupe XL out, I'm sure that these will fit similar if you have the jive and you're trying to see if the slider will work for you. But definitely, if you have the pacer and you need some more things to fit, definitely either one of these bags would definitely fit more than the pacer does. And so now what I wanna do is just show you how these wear on the body. There are two ways that you can wear the pacer. You can wear it cross body. So here it is with that one and a half inch strap as a cross body bag. So you can see how well this lays against the hips as a crossbody. And then of course you could carry this as a shoulder bag by just adjusting this as short as it'll get, but it does come with a second strap, which is the Vika leather strap that you could use instead. But I am just gonna show this to you in case you did just wanna use this one and a half inch strap that's in the print design, then this is what it would look like as a shoulder bag. So you can see this is gonna fit a little bit lower than your strap that is designated for the shoulder. So you can see how this looks as short as it will adjust with the printed strap. And then here is the vegan leather strap that is made for the shoulder bags. You can see this is gonna be a little bit high up. Ignore this one, because of course this one's gonna be off. But you can see this hits a little bit higher up above the hip than the strap did if you wanted to use the printed strap. So technically there's three different lengths you can do. You can do a crossbody length, which has a lot of adjustment for that. Then you can also adjust that printed strap to be a shoulder strap. And then also you, it comes with the vegan leather strap that you can use it as a shoulder strap. So this is really nice because it's really versatile and it lays really nicely along the hip. 
I don't have any problems with either this strap or the printed strap falling off my shoulder. It fits really nicely as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And then next up we have the Jive, and I really do like to carry this with the handle. So I will walk around just carrying it by these smaller handles, or you can also put it in the crook of your arm. So as I'm walking, I'm always carrying it like this. This has been my bag that I've been carrying for the last couple of weeks, or since I've actually gotten this bag, this is the one that I've been carrying, and I do not carry it as a crossbody. Even though this is my preferred way to carry bags, I really do love the way this just looks by just carrying it like this. It's so elegant looking. So I love to wear it on the crook of my arm, but I will also show it to you as a crossbody and a shoulder bag as well. So now you can see how the job looks as a crossbody bag. And here's the adjustment. So you have quite a bit more length to adjust on this one right here. But as you can see, these handles do lay really nice and flat against it. So you can't even really tell they're there when you have it on as a crossbody. So that's a really nice option. So as you can see, the Pacer had two different straps that came with it. It came with the vegan leather strap that was meant for a shoulder strap. And then it also came with the one and a half inch printed strap that you could adjust for shoulder bag or crossbody style. So the job only comes with one strap and it's the nylon strap so it does not come with a printed strap and it does not come with a vegan leather strap it comes in this black one for the black jive and here's the adjustment so you can see how much more i can adjust on this but i think it looks and fits really nicely this fits a lot of stuff you guys i just think this is such an elegant looking bag i love this in the vegan leather this also comes in the regular fabrication in prints i'm not sure if it comes in solids in the regular fabrication or not but I just really love this in the vegan leather. I think it looks really nice. And so here it is as a crossbody. And then if you want to adjust this strap for a shoulder bag, I will adjust this as short as it will get. And this slid a little bit easier than the printed one did on the pacer. So this is the job as a shoulder bag if you wanted to carry it as a shoulder bag. Looks really nice as a shoulder bag as well, but I prefer to carry it with these handles right here. I just think it's really a classy looking bag. Okay, so here is the slider as a crossbody bag. So this is in that sand color and it does come with two straps just like the pacer does. It comes in this one and a half inch printed strap. So the sand comes with the tropical fog and here it is adjusted as a crossbody. Here's the adjustment. So you have quite a bit more length that you can adjust it even longer if you like it to go a little bit lower on your hips or if you are a little bit taller than 5'5", which is how tall I am, then this has a, quite a bit of adjustment. So this is the slider as a crossbody bag. And as you can see, it still fits really nicely against the hip. It's just so smooth. And I love this sand color. It's just such a great bag, you guys. So this one comes with the two straps, but I'm gonna adjust the printed strap to be a shoulder bag so you can just see how the length would be for it. So now you can see how the slider looks as a shoulder bag with the printed strap as short as it will get. So it does hit right at the hip. And then, like I said, you also get this shorter vegan leather strap to wear as a shoulder bag. And of course you can see this comes up quite a bit more than if you were to wear as a shoulder bag with that printed strap. So this comes right above the waist as opposed to wearing it as a shoulder bag with the printed strap came right at the hip. So this is really nice. I love this. So you can see I don't have any problems with my arm going over this as a shoulder bag and it's not falling off my shoulders. So I really like to wear it this way. This is the way that I wear it mostly with the vegan leather. Now I do have the slider in the regular fabrication and in the freestyle fabrication. And I like both of those as a crossbody, but for some reason with this vegan leather, I just really love to wear it as a shoulder bag with the vegan leather shoulder strap. And I really like that it matches and it wasn't any kind of print or anything like that. So this is a really nice bag, so classy looking, and I love it in the sand color. Okay guys, now I've shown you how they wear on the body. And I hope I gave you a very good comparison on all three about the capacity, all the options for your straps. And I also wanted to mention, I don't know if anybody really cares about this or not, but the zippers on the Jive are tonal zippers with gunmetal zipper pulls. On the slider, they are gunmetal zippers and gunmetal zipper pulls. On the Pacer, they are tonal zippers with gunmetal pulls. So if that makes a difference to anybody, that's how the zippers are on this one. And I hope this video was helpful. I hope it wasn't too much information and too long for you guys. But if you're trying to decide between several bags, I do like to kind of just go in depth about everything so that you can make an educated decision on which bag you might like. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.